Melissa from Hudson Valley Bookkeeping and in this video I'm going to show you how to post or create the code for when you take personal um, draw or personal payments from your business. All right, let's get started. Okay, let's talk about if your mental health practice is an LLC. So in that case, you cannot take a salary. You're an LLC and LLC's members do not take salaries. They take what is called a draw. So I'm going to teach you how to set up those equity codes and explain it a little better so you have a better understanding. All right, so we're gonna go over, this is our chart of accounts. You get it to it by clicking transaction, chart of accounts. I wanna show you different things that are already set up in here and I've used this in my demo file. We normally have an owner's contribution and an owner's draw. Now, that's kind of like what how it's set up when you get your QuickBooks. What I personally like to do each year is create a new draw account. That's when you pay yourself. And then sometimes you have to give the, the LLC money back, right? Because you're not running this out of your personal account. And sometimes you may need to loan the company money. When you take a draw, it is not an expense on your profit and loss. Just want you to understand that it is an equity payment. Okay, so you're gonna click new. And then what I like to do is put them by year. So 2024 drop. So anytime you pay yourself money because you're in an LLC and you cannot take salary, you're going to post it to that year's drop. Click save. And now I wanna make one more. Some people like to keep it all in one. They go have all their ins and outs, but then it's impossible to track how much did you give the company and how much did you take? Drop this down, equity, owner's equity. So we're going to talk about when you give the company money, how do you code it? And when you take out money from your company checking account to pay yourself, because I'm assuming you're an LLC or a sole proprietor, how do you code that? It's not a salary expense because LLCs or sole proprietors do not take what we call a W-2 wage salary. So you take what is called a draw. So we have these here in our chart of accounts. 2024 draw that you use when you take money. And when you give money, you use the code 2024 contribution. So a lot of the times you might be coding this through the bank feed, but this is demo file, so I can't do that for you. So let's go to the checking account. And the first thing, usually when you start your company, right? You're gonna give money to open the new checking account. So let's pretend that's what's going on. So let's say you give the checking account $15,000. That is a contribution. You are contributing money to your company checking. Okay, let's say at the end of the month, you are going to take um, a payment for yourself, right? You need to get paid every month. But I know you are probably thinking of it as salary, but it isn't in the terms of the IRS. It's considered a draw. So let's say at the end of the month, oh, first, sorry, you got to go change this. I'm going to change this to expense. You're going to transfer maybe money or write yourself a check, probably no checks anymore, but somehow you're going to take money out of this account and you're going to put it into your personal account. Monthly draw. And I like to keep it specific to the year. That way you can run a report and see how much did you give and how much did you take. Okay, so here we have a deposit on June 15th for how much you gave the company, your LLC or your sole proprietor checking account, and then what you took, right? Another thing to keep in mind, if you 
mistakenly charge something on your debit card or credit card that's associated with your business and it's really for personal use it's not something that the irs would deem deductible i want you to code that to the draw as well okay so keep personal expenses please don't mingle personal expenses but if you accidentally do so use your draw account let me just show you what that looks like if you go over here to reports balance sheet so here you see, we have a $15,000 deposit. And now this is negative and that's fine. It gets closed out at the end of the year, but this is meaning you gave this 15. So basically the company owes you 15, right? And you took five. And as month over month over month, that will continue until the end of the year. Then it gets closed at the end. That's a whole different entry. But the biggest thing to remember is when you're giving money, you call it a contribution. It's your contribution. There we go. And then when you take money, it's either a draw. If you were an S corp, we would call it a distribution. That's just technicality. But remember, then it's going negative. So it's like negative equity because you gave money that made that positive line. And then the negative line is what you took. So just remember, uh, you don't have salary if you are a solo. Um, I forget what we call it. But if you're not a corporation, right? So if you're an LLC or I mean a sole proprietor, that was the word I was thinking of, then you don't take what is salary. So for myself, my company is a corp and I pay myself actual salary. I get a W-2 at the year end. So that's the difference. And that's why I know you're going to think of it as salary. But when you're speaking to people in accounting, just remember they are not going to agree with you because technically it's not. It would be considered your draw. All right, um, please let me know if you have any questions. You can post them in the YouTube comments. You could also um, post if there are certain videos you would like for us to make. I'm Lori from Hudson Valley Bookkeeping. We specialize in mental health bookkeeping as well as um, QuickBooks coaching. All right, have a great day.